In this tutorial, I will explain how to work with images in AwareAM, how to upload them, view them, how to use them in queries and forms. In order to use images, you have to define an attribute of the picture type. For many situations, this is literally all you have to do, because AwareAM will automatically provide all the functionality that you need to upload the image, store it, and view it. Let's implement this simple scenario, and then we'll have a look at some more complex ones. So if we have a business object, all we have to do is add an attribute of the picture type to this object. Let's create a simple photo object. And it will have the description. And more importantly, it will, it will have the picture attribute of the picture type that will store the image of the, of the photo. And this is literally all we have to do. I will not be using this particular object though. I have only created it to show you how to define a picture attribute. Instead, let's use the object from the photo album sample application that already has some nice looking forms and queries. The application allows users to manage their photo albums and upload photographs into these albums. It has the photo object And this photo object is similar to the object that we have already created, except that it has more attributes in it. But most importantly, it has the display photo attribute of the picture type, which is just like the default picture attribute we have created. So let's see how it works. So let's log into the photo album sample application. Let's go to an empty album and upload a photo into the album. When I click on the Upload Photo button, the form of the photo object is displayed and we can see the control representing the picture attribute. It has the Select Files button that AwareIM generated automatically. When we click on this button, we can select the image to upload. You can see now that the image is immediately displayed in the form. Let's specify some parameters of the folder and save the form. When the form is saved, the image is automatically uploaded to the system and stored in the database. The photo is then displayed as part of the album. I will show you later how this is done. Let's now go back to the form of the photo object. If we click on the image, the picture control slides out. Here we can upload a different image or delete the image altogether. So just by adding an attribute of the picture type to our object, we automatically get the functionality to upload the image to the database, show it in the form, and manage it. All done by AwareAM automatically. Let's now upload another image. When an image is shown in the form, we can see that the image is too big for this form, and the form looks really ugly. To prevent this from happening, we can get AwareAM to automatically scale down all the images that the user tries to upload to a particular width and height that looks good on this form. To do this, we go to the form of the photo object
select the picture attribute cell and then click on the display settings property. On this dialog here, we make sure that when displaying picture in a business object form value is selected and it is selected by default. And then we select the scale picture to fit radio button and specify width and height of 200 by 200 pixels. Let's see how this works. If we try to upload the image now, we can see that it displays very nicely on the form. Forms are not the only place where images can be shown. You can also show images when displaying results of a query. This applies to queries with standard representation using grids and queries using custom representation. Let's have a look at standard queries first. The Ford album sample application does not have queries showing images in the standard form, so I will add such a query as an illustration. I will create a query that will look for the photo object. I'll give it a name. The query will assume that the selected album is in the context. The album stores not photos but album item objects and each album item stores a photo. So our query will look like this. We will find photos for which there is an album item that includes this photo and that belongs to the album in context. We now need to make sure that we include the display photo attribute into the list of attributes shown by the grid. So I select on the displayed attributes property and then select display photo. I will also show name and category. Let's now add our query as an operation to the initial query that shows albums for the logged in author. So we add an operation called albums. And this operation will run our query. Let's see how this works. So now, when we log into the application, we can see the button here that invokes our query. Let's run it. As you can see, the query displays all photos of the album. For each entry, it displays name, category and an image. The problem is that again, the image is too big and the query looks ugly. Luckily, we can use the same technique to automatically scale down the image that we used for forms. So we open the photo object again. Select the display photo attribute and click on the display settings property. This time we select scaling options when the image is displayed inside queries. We specify scaling of 150 by 150 pixels. Let's see how the query looks now. When we go back to the browser and run our query again, we can see that it looks much better now. The other place in where I am where, can, where we can display images is queries or reference attributes 
represented by a custom form. A custom form of query results is just an HTML snippet that is displayed for each record found by the query or stored in a reference attribute. You need to provide this snippet when you define the query. This HTML snippet can refer to the values of the attributes stored in a particular record. If we look at the images of the album shown here, they are displayed using a custom HTML snippet. Let's have a look at this snippet. The images shown for each album are stored in the items reference attribute of the album object. The attribute is used in the image gallery form of the object. So when we go to the presentation of this attribute on the form, then click on the widget settings property, we can see the custom HTML snippet. This bit here shows the image. You can provide your custom scaling of the image here by defining width and height attributes. This is done in this bit here. In order for our queries to look good, both standard and custom, we usually scale the image down. But quite often we still want the system to show the full picture of the image in, the, in its natural size. For example, we want the system to show the full folder when the user clicks on the scaled down representation of the image. To support this, we go to the photo object again select the display photo attribute and then go to the display settings properties again. And here we tick the show actual representation when thumbnail is clicked checkbox here. Let's see how this works. So now when I log into the application and click on the photo here I see the nice, real size version of the image. Similarly, if we go to the standard query and click on the image, we see the large version of it again. If we want to show the actual size of the image, there is an option for us to store both versions of the image, the thumbnail representation and the actual representation. Let me select the display photo attribute again, go to the display settings property and you can see these options here. They can be useful if you don't like the automatic scaling of the image and you want to provide your own version of the thumbnail. If you want to do this, you need to define two attributes of the picture type in the object, one to store the thumbnail and one to store the actual image. Then you would open the property of the thumbnail attribute and provide a link to the uh, attribute that stores the actual representation of the image here. We don't have any other picture attributes, so this list is obviously empty. You can also display images as circles. I will show it to you a little later. Picture attributes can also be used to represent signatures if you tick the signature checkbox here. In this case, a ORM will generate a completely different user interface. It will not let you upload the images, but instead it will allow you to enter your signature. The signature will then be uploaded as an image and stored in the database. The CRM sample application includes a signature for its custom object. Let's have a look at it.
So here we have a signature attribute and we can see that the signature property is ticked for this attribute. Let's look at the CRM sample application in the browser and I, and I will show you how this works. So now I logged in the CRM sample application. Here we can see the list of customers. By the way, it is a standard query that includes the photo of the customer represented as a circle. If we go to the customer form, we can see the signature tab which shows the signature attribute. And this is the user interface that AwareAIM generates for signatures. The user can sign using this control here. And when the form is saved, this signature is saved as, as an image in the signature attribute. 